All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that run. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And not just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoons, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son dying for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy and is forever his truth is everlasting amen so always worship him always praise him always thank him always trust him in every situation you're going through hallelujah most definitely welcome everyone i appreciate all of you for listening and supporting it means a lot to me i love you all praying for you all let us always uplift each other in christ and encourage each other in the lord let us always pray for each other intercede for one another comfort each other support each other all those great awesome amazing things brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world let us be together on one accord for the lord amen much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and mysteries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship and the services. Much love to all the previous martyrs, current martyrs and future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith who are going through many tribulations for his name's sake. Be steadfast and firm. Amen. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the great, all the people, all peoples, all nations, all grafted in Gentiles of all walks of life. Much love to all the brand new converts, all the brand new believers out there. If you just repented, God bless you. If you just got baptized, God bless you as well. If you just, you know, started a brand new life for Christ, God bless you as well. Shalom, family. Greetings to all of you, most definitely. Welcome, everybody. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise Him. Rejoice, always rejoice, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to Him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument, do what you got to do for Him. He is always watching us, so always serve Him with gladness and joy, and always worship His Spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until his son comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let's be watchful, prayed up. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant. Let's be washed by the water through the word, the washing of the water with the word. And let us keep our lamp and oils. And let us constantly stand our purpose and call for God. Let us know the Lord better get more close to him let's seek his face draw near to god he will draw near to you let us obey the gospel obey the law statute commandments obey all of god's word anything the most has told us personally according to our life our call and our purpose our situations our gifts our talents our circumstances handle that people okay you got to constantly hear his voice and obey it you know what i mean hearken to his voice people keep it all together for him Keep the faith, keep the word of God, keep the law, statutes, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, promises. Keep the faith. Keep it all together for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Take it one day at a time, people. All right. So in today's message, what I love to do is go through today's Bible reading, go through the recommended reading scriptures and go through the commentary. And then from there, I will close out with a prayer. I will close out with a priestly blessing. I will close out, give all the praise, honor and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. 
All right, here we go. Today's Bible reading is the book of Hosea, chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. The recommended reading is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 6 through 11. Also, the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verses 1 through 3. The title of this commentary is A Father's Heart. Just wait till your father gets home. Those seven words might not stop a charging rhino, but they have a sobering effect on a six-year-old child. <laughs> Years ago, when dad worked nearby in the barn or field, that ominous work warning created immediate anxiety. No time for appeals or hopeful delays. Today, fathers might wonder which is worse, interrupting work to participate in a disciplined situation or arriving at home after a hard day to discover a long list of pending judgments to dole out. God makes his parents and role clear clearer, yet somehow more complicated than that of earthly dads. He suffers no confusion over what really happened. God knows what happened. Excuses, elaborate lies, or simple denials don't affect God's view of circumstances. He needs no witnesses. He sees it all. Yet Hosea describes a debate within God's mind. God, the loving parent, talks with God, the disciplinarian. God remembers the same Israel who blatant, whose blatant misbehavior deserves severe punishment as a loved child with such amazing potential. He doesn't make impulsive decisions, especially about punishment. Instead, he permits consequences to take effect. In the process, we're reminded that God's ongoing plan for creation includes seemingly endless cycles of punishment, repentance, restoration, blessing, disobedience, punishment, repentance, and so on. The big picture of our lives might remain largely a mystery to us, but God continues to give us warnings and opportunities. What we do matters. How we obey makes a difference. We might not be able to see the impact of our decisions on God's larger plan, but he assures us that our efforts to obey won't be in vain. Finally, God reminds us that he might require us to live with the natural consequences of our past decisions. Yet, whatever the outcome, who can we trust more than God? Because God's roar is awe-inspiring and fear-inducing. He wants us to come to him like a trembling children. While we might hesitate to approach the Almighty God, we should be more afraid of what will happen if we never come to him. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. What do you find awe-inspiring and fear-inducing about God? Do you ever hesitate to approach God? Why? How would you describe your present father-son relationship with the Most High? What steps can you take to deepen this relationship? Amen, people. Let's seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all things shall be added to us. Amen. Let's always fear the Lord. Let's always keep him first. You know what I mean? Let's do better, make better choices, have better accountability, self-control, and discipline. Okay? So that is the commentary. All right? God loves us unconditionally and his love for us is amazing amen so let's love him back by keeping his commandments and loving others as we love ourselves amen so that's what the commentary is about what i love to do is i close out give all the praise honor and glory to the most high god of abraham isaac and jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins amen hallelujah so here we go hallelujah praise the most high god of heaven and earth he is the god of shem the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob he is the god of abraham isaac and jacob forever he is the god of israel he's the god of the hebrews he is the god of jesharon he is the god of noah job and daniel praise the most high his only begotten son died for our sins rose up three days later much love to the messiah for shedding his blood for all of us Praise him. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, the almighty, true living God. Praise him, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead. Firstborn of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, 
the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, that I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, 